Exodus 31, there is great application for every single human being on planet Earth. Now that's a bold statement, but what do I mean by that? You see, in Exodus 31, we see some great insights into a healthy work ethic and a healthy rhythm of rest. I would highly encourage you to read this chapter today. But let me just highlight a few things from Exodus 31 today. You see, in this chapter, we see that God has gifted certain people for certain works. Let me give you at least one example. In verse one, it says, the Lord said to Moses, look, I have specifically chosen Bezalel, son of Uri, grandson of her of the tribe of Judah. I have filled him with the spirit of God, giving him great wisdom, ability, and expertise in all kinds of crafts. He is a master craftsman, expert in working with gold, silver, and bronze. He is skilled in engraving and mounting gin stones and carving wood. He is a master at every craft. What a phenomenal reference this guy, Bezalel, gets from God. He says, I have hardwired this guy with the ability to be a master craftsman. And throughout the chapter, he talks about Bezalel and Aholiab and these men that he had gifted to do a specific work. And then as you go on in the chapter, you see that God gives specific instructions to rest on the Sabbath day. And the instructions are very serious. In fact, there's the penalty of death for those who do not observe Sabbath. Now, why do I say that these two applications apply to every single human being on planet Earth today? Listen, I really do believe that we are designed to work. You see, even before sin entered the garden, God gave Adam a job description, work to do. See, work isn't a part of the curse of sin. Work is a good thing. Work is a, a God thing. Now, don't make that good thing your God thing. Don't become a workaholic, but work hard. See, I really do believe that God gives gifts and God desires us to develop a healthy work ethic where we see our work as truly our platform to position our hearts and our hands to worship. You see, our work is designed to be a way in which we worship God. Work's not meant to be for you and for me the value by which we get our worth. Well, I'm only as good as the job I do. No, listen, let me have your attention. Our work does not determine our worth, but our work is our platform for worship. But we're also designed to rest, to have healthy rhythms of hard work and good rest. I used to serve with a pastor named Ricky Ryan, and he said, Neil, here at Calvary, we work hard and we play harder, meaning there's good rest involved as well. You see, in today's scripture, I wanna encourage you. God has given you a gift to do. He's given you, he's skilled you, like these men, with the ability to contribute. And I wanna encourage you to take the talents and skill sets God has given you and use them as a platform to worship God, to give Him glory, and to benefit others for good. And rest, rest well, take time off. Don't let all the stresses that can come with work steal from the joy of resting well. Because God has designed you to work well and to rest well. So today, rest and work well in Jesus' name.